So day two is done. Finished day two. Had a great day. Um, got a little headachey, so I wasn't drinking enough water, and I made sure to snack. Uh, the snacks were raw carrots, raw celery, grapes. Very important when you do a detox that you snack throughout the day. You don't want your blood sugar level to drop too much. For those of you that were having headaches or difficulty, usually it's because your body is detoxing and it's not used to not having the toxins that you've been putting in your body. Toxins such as sugar, coffee, when you take in sugar at a certain time of the day or coffee at a certain time of the day, it's almost like Pavlov's dog. Remember, you ring the bell and the dog started to salivate? Well, when you're eating those things or drinking those things, your body is used to getting it and it prepares for it. How does it prepare for it? It starts to release insulin so that it can take the sugar that you're eating out of your bloodstream. It starts to produce digestive enzymes waiting for the coffee, for a donut, or a piece of cake, or a bagel. If you're eating a bagel every single morning with cream cheese, with whatever you put on it, your body's used to that. So at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, it's like, where's the bagel? We're giving insulin into your bloodstream to help to get that sugar out of your bloodstream. And there's no bagel. There's no coffee. So before a detox, it's important to start to eliminate those things that you might have a reaction to, such as caffeine, sugar, soda, um, carbohydrates, those things which can cause a downward spiral as your body's trying to get used to things. So today is day three, and it's very interesting because I woke up this morning, I'm not hungry. It is now 8.14, and normally I'm having breakfast at 8 o'clock. So the things I told you about, the insulin, the digestive enzymes, they're ready to start digesting the food that I always eat at 8 o'clock. Well, it's 8.14. I'm not hungry. My metabolism is starting to get acclimated to the fact that I'm not putting those sugary foods or that caffeine into my system. So it's saying, hey, eat when you want to eat. If you're not hungry, wait a little bit. So the thing that's important, even though I'm not hungry, I'm going to have my 10 ounces of water so that I can start to flush out and detox those toxins. There are so many supplements out there that we carry in the office to help with a detox. And one of them is called Genema. Genema helps to reduce sugar cravings and also inhibits the taste of sweetness. When you're taking Genema and you eat something sweet, you won't even taste the sweetness or sugar, so you won't crave it anymore. We also have Livaplex which helps to detoxify the liver as you're getting rid of toxins if you need extra help and there's Spanish black radish also a detoxifying natural nutrient to help to alleviate toxins so if you're suffering from headaches or food cravings those are the three supplements that I use in my office to help you get through the hard part but but usually by day three or day four you've overcome the hump you should pat yourself on the back because now it's just a downhill slide on how much easier it would be because you no longer have the cravings, you're cleaning out your body, and you're just moving along to finally get to day one. So what happens on day one? I know, let's go back to eating sugar, let's go back to drinking caffeine, drinking soda. No, this is a lifestyle change. And if you're starting to feel much better at the end of day one, you should want to keep feeling better. So you have to clean up your diet and eat healthy, stay away from those things that you know are bad for you, processed foods, sugars, red lentil pasta, which I do like, and you can do spiral zucchini. There are a lot of substitutes that you can do to just stay healthy. As far as sugar, you want a little sweetness, there's many fruits out there that will satisfy that little sweet craving that you might have. But I promise you, after 21 days, you're not going to have sweet cravings anymore. 
and when you do eat the wrong foods you're going to see within 24 to 48 hours you don't feel right your body is telling you these foods aren't good for me so modify your diet after the 21 days we'll be talking more about it in my in my next video i'm going to talk about what's included in the purification and detox and i'm going to show you how i make my first morning shake forward to seeing you again stay healthy